Welcome to the tutorial video to show how to set up a new project in the latest version of Vertex BD. We'll start by creating a new project by going to File menu and choosing New Project. Ensure Building is selected. Then in Project ID we can give the project a short identifier ensuring that a space isn't used. With the name field allowing us to get a bit more descriptive. The based on field allows you to choose either a saved template or from a locally saved project using the drop down menu. As this is a new project, we will use a previously set up template project which copies over all of the parameters. Here the more advanced parametric template is used that allows greater control of the Z levels in the model. Once selected, click OK. The project data card is used to enter information about the project itself, including contact and building location details. Some of this information is carried over into the outputs, such as the drawing sheet, but can be disregarded if necessary. Note that the engineering data is purely for informational purposes. When you click OK on that project data card, we go into the project, which brings up the drawing model pairs window. This shows the active modeling pairs that are available, with a drawing for each, in both architectural and framing, as well as their respective models. We will look shortly at how to add and remove modeling pairs. Here, simply click on the ground floor walls to be taken to a 2D drawing of that particular modeling pair. You can press the F2 key or this button here to toggle between the 2D and 3D views, whilst this button allows us to swap between the 3D architectural and framing models. We also have the project document browser here on the left, which is the quickest way to access the different drawings, models and outputs within the project. Tabs down at the bottom allow us to switch to the model tree, where different elements within the project can be interacted with, for instance hiding by a story from the right click contextual menu. To change the modeling pairs available, first switch back into the project document browser and right click on settings. Then use the select active draw model pairs, toggling on and off the different pairs to be used, then clicking OK. If we press F4, you can see that the draw model pairs window is updated. As mentioned earlier, the next part of project setup is to select the default wall heights for each level or story within the project. To do that, again, right click on the settings entry in the project document browser and select edit 3D levels. This interface allows us to adjust the wall height as well as the floor to floor heights for each level in the project. The preview panel shows dimensions for the wall heights of each level and also the floor to floor height and window header heights. The easiest way to make a change to these is to edit the FFL or finish floor level for each story. So for example, we can keep FFL 0 as 0 as this is the top of the slab for the ground floor. We can then alter FFL1 to be the top of the first floor deck which will affect the wall location points and their respective heights. So if you want to keep the FFL0 to FFL1 height fixed, we we'll change this radio button to fix floor to floor height. And then we can select a different floor system to adjust the thickness of the floor framing by right clicking here and choosing select floor or ceiling to enter our horizontal structure library. Select the structure to use and click OK. As floor to floor height is fixed, the room height and ceiling height will change for the ground floor. The window header height can also be adjusted with the WH lines. Note this is just a parameter and can be adjusted whilst modeling. We can continue to adjust the rest of the building, clicking OK once done. The last step to setting up a project before we start drafting is to alter the project parameters from the default parameters stored in the template project. The project parameters can be found by again right clicking the settings entry in the document browser and selecting edit project parameters. You'll notice that there are parameters set for each level we have active as a drawing model pair. However, most values within here are controlled by the 3D or Z levels we set up earlier. System parameters contain a lot of default values such as service hall heights and tolerances for openings which can be changed system wide. Thus you shouldn't need to alter these on each project. The framing parameters contain sets of rules for the framing of different wall types, as shown by the tabs at the bottom. Each wall type has its own set of identical parameters to set up, and these will be automatically picked up by the wall you have chosen from the wall library. So we'll just go through exterior bearing wall types. The first section deals with panel breaks, a minimum and maximum length for all panels can be defined here, as well as preferred lengths. Details covers the wall connections, whether this be a corner or a backer. Details can be chosen by clicking the row, then choosing the type you require from the preview drawing by selecting the blue diamonds. Finally, the stud section allows you to choose if you have a single or double center stud. If stud orientation is mirrored, the center to center spacing of the studs 
as well as their starting position in the panel. Once all framing sets are completed, click OK and we are ready to start drafting. This will be covered in the rest of the video series. Thank you for watching.